When building hard surface models, sharp edges are very important. In this quick tip, I want to show you how to add holding edges to a complex model as quickly as possible. Here I have the faceplate of my sci-fi helmet newly retopologized, but if I tab to object mode and hit control 2, you can see that there's not enough geometry to give us those crisp, sharp edges that we want. And so whether you want to use creasing or add holding edges, my preference is to add holding edges, we need to tab into edit mode and start selecting the edges that we want to harden. So in edge select mode, holding control and clicking to connect strings of edges will do this for us. But this is very slow and very manual. And for a complex model, this can take a long time. And so to give us a head start, there's a tool we can use that allows us to select similar edges based on the face angle. So the face angle, if I select, let's say this edge right here and look at it from this perspective, you can see that there's a pretty sharp angle. It's almost 90 degrees. And the point here is to select edges that are close to that angle because those are gonna be the edges that will naturally be hard. And so with that edge selected, let's go to the select menu and in the select similar option, we can choose face angles. Now that only gives us a couple edges, but if we look in the options for that operator, there's a threshold. If I start dragging that up, you can see it slowly starts to add additional edges, and most of them are the edges we would already select anyway. So I can actually take this all the way up to a threshold of one, and a lot of the work is done for us, surprisingly well in some areas. For example, all along this edge, these are exactly the edges I would select anyway if I was doing it manually. But it doesn't do everything perfectly. Like obviously we don't want these edges in the holes to be hardened. So I would simply grab the circle select tool, middle mouse click and drag to paint out the selection. And instead of selecting everything manually, I just need to go up and clean the automated selection. And while this is gonna be manual and somewhat tedious, it's a lot less tedious than manually selecting everything in the first place. And I think you probably know how to deselect and select edges. So I'm gonna jump forward to the point where I've cleaned up my edge selection to exactly what I want. And all that's left to do now is to bevel these edges. So hit Control B in the viewport and then slowly start to drag your mouse and you'll see that all of our edges split into two edges. So let's drag it pretty tight to about there. And then in our options for the segment, let's bump that up to two, which gives us the perfect holding edge format. And then for the profile, let's change that to one. And that is essentially the holding edge tool. So that's perfect. If we jump into object mode now and hit control two again, you can see that we have very nice crisp edges and that's a pretty fast workflow, but it's not entirely perfect. If I remove my subsurface modifier tab back into edit mode, there is a little bit of cleanup that needs to be done where we might have overlapping edges like here, for example, let's get rid of those. Maybe just cut one loop in there instead of two. Also, we might have some overlapping faces in the tighter areas, but overall those are minor things to fix when compared to manually cutting all of these holding edges. So I hope you find this helpful whenever you're building hard surface models. Thanks for watching.